Today we're going over muscle fibers and their attributes, and there is potentially a lot to know here, but we're going to break it down for you and make it real easy, so let's get into it. All right, so to start off with, you probably heard that we have slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibers. In medical terms, slow twitch fibers are named type 1, while fast twitch fibers are named type 2. Type 2 fibers are then subdivided again to type 2A and type 2X. You may see type 2X fibers labeled as type 2B, however this is kind of an old way of doing things. Recent research shows that only animals have type 2B fibers, so to be the most accurate really we should be calling them type 2X. Now the reason these fibers have different names and classifications is because they each have different attributes and are specialized for different activities. You can remember the attributes of type 1 fibers by using the acronym 1. O and E. The O here stands for oxidative because these fibers use oxygen to create ADP, which is a slow process. So type 1 fibers are sometimes referred to as slow oxidative. The N in 1 helps you remember that it has numerous mitochondria, numerous capillaries, and numerous myoglobin, which is why it appears red. And this makes sense because it uses oxygen to create energy, so it needs a big network of blood and oxygen circulating through it, which explains the red color. The E in 1 stands for endurance because this is the main feature of type 1 fibers. They are used for slow endurance activities like walking. Now that we know what type 1 fibers are all about, we can jump over to type 2X. How to remember this is that they're basically the exact opposite of type 1 fibers. Type 2X are the strongest and fastest of the three fibers. And you can remember this by thinking of the X in 2X as standing for explosive. So instead of using oxygen, these fibers are anaerobic, meaning they use readily available ATP that's just floating around. They're not going through the long process of using oxygen to create ADP, so they don't need a lot of mitochondria, capillaries, or blood. This is why they appear white. And finally, like we covered, this is not a fiber for endurance. This is a short-term power fiber used for explosive activities like sprinting or low-rep powerlifting. All right, we got type 1 and type 2X covered. Let's jump over to type 2A. The easiest way to remember the type 2A fibers is just to think of the A in 2A as standing for average. These fibers are basically the average of the other two. Since it's a type 2, it is considered a fast twitch fiber, but it can also do glycolytic and oxidative energy production. As for what's inside, it has an average amount of mitochondria, an average amount of capillaries, and an average amount of myoglobin. And as for down here, again, it has an average amount of fatigue resistance and average endurance. It's basically the jack of all trades, but the master of none. Now that covers the three fibers, but there's one more way you can think about all this stuff that no one really ever talks about. If you've ever eaten chicken, you probably know a lot more about these fibers than you even realize. Dark meat chicken, the legs, are basically just type 1 fibers. As we remember, type 1 fibers are the endurance fibers and they're filled with numerous capillaries and myoglobin. Walking is a chicken's primary mode of transportation, so they need these endurance fibers to keep them moving. And the reason it's dark meat is because it's filled with all this stuff like the capillaries and myoglobin needed to perform oxidative respiration. Chickens can, of course, fly a little bit, but it's kind of this explosive short-term activity. That's why breast meat is white, because it's mostly these fast twitch fibers. They don't need a ton of blood and oxygen because flying is a short-term explosive activity for these birds. Now next time you're at KFC, I wouldn't advise you trying to order a three-piece type one fiber plate or anything like that. But in 10 years, if you're having trouble remembering this entire chart, you can probably work out the details just by thinking about lunch. All right, that covers muscle fibers. Thanks for watching. And of course, good luck on your next test.